Hello everybody, this is Tim from Bowshed Yacht Brokers and you're here with me today for a virtual rea reality look around this Hustler 33. Now, what does virtual reality mean to you? Well, that means that you can look around where you like, when you like. You don't have to look where Tim's looking. All you need to do is click and drag or swipe your screen up, down, left or right. You can look around whenever you like. And we hope that this really amazing new feature allows you to feel what it's like to be in this compartment or on this boat without actually being here. Now, I will move the camera. Some people report a little bit of sensitivity towards the camera. If that might be you, then when I let you know, I'm going to move the camera if you could avert your eyes. And then I will let you know when the camera's safely back down and you can return to me for the rest of the tour. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So, how am I feeling? Well, I'm on a uh, realistically what is a, a vintage 30 foot hustler and uh, she's oozing with vintage kinds of features, make her, her design, her layout, etc. All pretty old school, but all feeling really nice on this boat. Starting where you are, so just above you is a companion way. That's quite, it is quite a steep companion way, so we need to be a little bit careful there with quite a low spray hood. But once you're in, you're in. And the reason it's steep is because you're sitting on the engine box. If, if it wasn't so steep, then I think we'd be losing space in here. But you are sitting on the engine box, there's a lid to have a good look inside, so at sea, if you're just doing your hourly checks, which I hope you do, uh, then you can just get in and have a quick look round and shut the lid without putting the companionway out of action for more than a couple of seconds. But the front does lift up and out if you want good access to the front of the engine, no problem at all. And uh, I'm just going to give you a caveat, you are going to hear the word storage or locker or cupboard an awful lot very, very shortly. So let's do the all-important height test, so I'm 5 foot 9, I'm not quite touching the deck head there actually, so there's probably about 5 foot 9 and a half, 5 foot 10 there, so a bit uh, lower for the, uh, uh, maybe a little bit too low for the taller amongst us, but the average uh, jack like me is going to be quite comfortable in here, then we do slope down at the edges slightly. But we'll start on the starboard side of the of the compartment. So uh, as you can see, once you're in, we've got a, a two burner uh, gimbal stove here. We've got stowage underneath. There's a first stowage. We have stowage behind, second stowage. Stowage, sorry, this is the sink. This is uh, more stowage in here. Stowage underneath here and underneath there too. So we've already got about half a dozen, half a dozen different stowages. Um, we're going to find some more, trust me. Moving along the starboard side, just to point out as we are coming down, we have got lovely big handholds here, we've got a lovely handhold here, and we've got deep fiddles here to grab hold of, and lovely handles here to grab hold of. So we're, if, we might, if we're making our way from the, from the companion way, forwards in a blow, then we can do it quite easily. We can then, then go to the bulkhead here, and then we're to this bulkhead here. So nice and easy, she's been built with a thought for getting around. And I'll tell you what, feels really solid as well. Proper, proper old school woodwork. But anyway, let's continue the tour. So past this handle we come to the sofa. Um, quite a short sofa, nice and wide though, but we do have a trotter box under there. So um, if you're a bit longer than the sofa, then your feet can go underneath. Uh, here we go with the cupboards again. Cupboard, 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 cupboard. Oodles of space to put all your gear on this boat. Looking down, nice wooden floor. I'd perhaps put a rug down here or a mat or something just to break it up, but uh, it does look in nice shape. Really, really easy, nice and easy access to the bilge underneath. Two plates just lift up and we've got the, uh, the, the, the two bilge suction strainers down there. Nice and easy to get at and clean if we need to. Absolutely fabulous. Now, if I just turn around and sit on the starboard side and gaze lovingly at the port side, as you can see, a little bit more open, so we've got a, a, a short berth here, but no trotter box there because that's the heads compartment there, which we'll see in a moment. But we have storage underneath the bed or sofa. We have one, two, three, four, five storages outboard. So feeling really rather like we could store the whole world on this boat. The upholstery feels nice, and uh, if we just look uh, along towards the after the compartment here, um, we can see we've got the chart table, nice size chart table, plenty of room inside for all your bits and pieces. That lifts up for storage, this lifts up for storage too, and we have drawer, sorry, cupboard, cupboard, cupboard underneath as well. Literally everywhere you could want to put any storage, they've done it, which I think is a really, really lovely thing to do. Nothing like putting storage into boats. You can never have too little, can we? So uh, a little bit more storage here for your pens, your dividers, your pencils, uh, rubbers, erasers, etc., etc. And uh, generally feeling like this is a very nice vintage. We've got wood, we've 
we've got uh, cream, we've got white, uh, the, the headlining's good. Um, feeling like a really nice vintage boat. I think she's been looked after, she looks nice outside as well. Very, very nice. Right then, let's pick you up for the first time and I will take you through, transport you magically forwards. Um, I'm going to put you there briefly on top of a pile of life jackets. Nice to see some light jackets, um, although these haven't had labels taken off, so haven't been used, but uh, we'll talk about that later. But we're in this uh, thwart chips compartment here, so what I'm going to do is just close this door so you'll lose me for a moment, but hopefully you can hear me. If you can't, I'm going to tell you that behind this door here is a, a manual head. Okay, so there we go, we'll, we'll close the door. So now that's nearly closed, there we go, it's closed. So. Whoever's in there has privacy, or maybe the people in the forward cabin have privacy if they want it. But either way, the rest of the boat don't, don't know what's going on inside that head. And then once the business is finished, doors closed and off we go. So uh, this is a, a, a very clever design to give you space to do what you need to do without the rest of the boat knowing. Here we've got the saloon table, which is all folded away. Another great space saving device that only older manufacturers seem to uh, ever do. It basically clips in here and here, lays across here, and you've got yourself a nice saloon table for probably four. And then when it's finished with, you put it away, it's out of the way, nobody's going to trip over it or fall on it at sea, and you've got enough room in there to have a party, no problem at all. Lovely. Okay, uh, windows all look really good on this boat, I'm, I'm pleased to say, so uh, generally speaking, looking great. So let's pick you up again, and we'll just transport you through to the forward cabin. Now I do apologise, this cabin has been used as somewhat of a layer part store, so we've got a life raft, we've got probably a cruising chute or a, or a spinnaker, another sail here, etc, etc. Good to have lots of sails, etc, but I can't move them for this video, there's too many. We've got uh, cushions here, so nice uh, long deep V berth, we don't have an infill here at the moment, but guess what? We have storage underneath absolutely everywhere, and we can see storage on the outboard side there, as the bow flares out, and I think we've probably got the same on the starboard side there too so really really good lovely okay let's transport you back then past me and I'll position you on the uh, the chart table this time so you can look forwards from there so let's sum up by saying that this has been Tim from Boats Your Drop Brokers just taking you for a tour around this vintage Hustler 30 uh, we've looked at what a lovely space she is plenty of head height we've got the nice well finished off interior, nice and sturdy and strong, and uh, lots of uh, nooks and crannies and the good old stories were absolutely everywhere. Thanks for watching, do keep an eye on our channel for views, uh, for reviews of all kinds of different boats, cheap, expensive and everything in between, and motor boats, sailing boats, catamarans, whatever it is you'd like to see, we have them all. Okay, thanks for, thank you again for watching, see you again soon, take care.